Are you the new year, new you kind of person? Or I'm gonna lose 30 pounds. I'm a little bit of both. So I try when the whole new year happens to um, stay a little healthier, stay on the healthy side. So quick substitution for meat sauce, we're gonna do turkey. People make meat sauce all different ways. You can follow Nona's recipe, your mother's recipe. You can have your own thing. This is no recipe that's like traditional that I'm making today. It's what I had in the fridge. It's what I know my kids will eat. Um, so we're gonna do celery, carrots, and onions. Some people don't like, you don't put carrots or celery. I do put it in my meat sauce. Um, we're gonna do a little butter, obviously lots of garlic, because that's a big part of it. A little parsley and fresh oregano. I'm also gonna use a little dry. And then I use two types of cans of tomato. I end up using um, the crushed tomato, and then I end up using like petite diced, so that it has like texture with the ground turkey. Um, I will deglaze with a little bit of white wine, just because I didn't have red, and I don't really like red wine when I do this. So, it's what I want, and how I want to make it. We're gonna go on a um, small dice for our veggies that are gonna go in. I'm gonna just show you, they are gonna cook down, but I definitely want a small dice. I do not want a big chunk of veggie like I do in a super chowder. Um, this is just supposed to be adding a little body to it, adding a little bit of flavor um, when we're sweating them out to the sauce itself. But let's start the right way. Olive oil, we're doing a um, medium pot. I'm gonna keep it on low even in the picture here, you can't even see me. I'm the most important part of the sauce. Um, medium pan, gonna get that sweating. And I'm also adding in, like I said, one stick of butter with the oil. Just gives a nice little flavor when you put the two of them together. So we're gonna get this melting. And in here, it's all in the prep over here. Everything's set up. S celery, carrots, and onions uh, are ready to go. Hot pan, a little bit of butter, olive oil, our veggies are going in right now. I'm not adding the garlic just yet. I'm gonna get these sweating down first, and then once they're almost translucent, then I'll add the garlic, and we'll keep moving to the next step. Pretty much completely sweated down. We are gonna add our garlic. I'm also gonna add in right now, um, like an herb mix that I have. It's oregano, basil, um, and a little bit of thyme I put in here, and I want to get it in with the butter, oil, and the herbs to really like infuse and let that sweat down with the garlic before I add um, our tomatoes in. Then what I'm going to do is to glaze a little white wine, add my tomatoes, set it on the on the side, and then we're going to brown the meat separately because we're going to want to drain that so we don't have that extra liquid, you know, the water and the liquid that the meat releases. All right, I add a little bit of white wine adding in my two cans of tomatoes right now. Do not forget, add a little water and rinse out your cans. There's a ton of stuff still in there, especially when you talk about the crushed cans. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Actually, better yet, let's be smart. We have the good stuff while we can, you know what I mean? A splash of white wine in there, a little splashy splash. Shake it around. There we go. Really hot non-stick pan. I'm not putting anything in this pan, no seasoning, because it's all in my sauce. I just want to, hear that sizzle? I just want to brown the meat in here because sometimes the meat does, turkey not as much as if you were doing like meat, meat, like veal, beef, and pork. But I want to brown this first, and you know that means I got my meat spoon out. We're chopping away, and the sauce is simmering slowly to the side. The camera, you can't see it, but it's going low and slow and bubbling and we're going to fold this or fold it add this into it as soon as it's brown lower it even a little bit more it's probably going to go for two hours on a very very low low simmer okay so the reason i said no sugar earlier is because this is my secret ingredient when i make my meat sauce especially with turkey i use a little bit of tomato paste nice heaving spoon and when the meat's browning or cooking like this, I'm gonna mix it all together. This not only adds sweetness, it adds a little bit of a richer color to it. 
We're gonna let this cook down for a couple minutes and then add everything right into our sauce. Our meat is here in the pan. I didn't do anything with it yet. Our sauce has been simmering, so I'm gonna take that off. And now we're gonna add our meat into our sauce. Nice and easy. You don't want to splatter. Cleaning up red sauce. That's why I said not the Kelly Kelly's out. Um, cleaning up red sauce sucks. So, really good start. The tomato paste will loosen a little bit here. No other seasonings, nothing else. We're putting this with the lid on, on super, super low. We'll stir it around every half an hour for the next two hours. All these flavors are gonna cook down and marry together and be beautiful. Then we add the fresh basil, the salt and pepper if we need it. And then we're gonna cook some pasta. I'm thinking bucatini is gonna be a beautiful pasta. With this, a little ricotta, a little basil, we're gonna have a little Italian dinner, maybe a little Chianti. All right guys, it's been almost three hours with the bolognese, my turkey bolognese, and it's coming off. It looks amazing. So I just have some pasta and show you how we're gonna trade up for dinner tonight. A nice scoop right on top of here. It doesn't have to be, I did bucatini, but it can be any kind of pasta you want. Mm -hmm. Gonna get a little bit of fresh basil on top, and I gotta go get the ricotta, because this is not complete without ricotta. The light's a little heavy because we're photoing, but put the ricotta, the bouillonese, this is like every comfort dream when it comes to food. Oh, I'm so excited. The meat sauce came out great. It went for three and a half hours, and the ricotta is just a personal touch of mine. You can add Parmesan if you want. Mm. And I can't lie. Perfectly cooked al dente pasta. It's perfection.